Welcome to this first content video. An issue that comes up again and again is if people work in teams and they want to merge a project. And then they merge the project and they started out with seven interviews in each project. That's what you can see here on, on the screen. And after they merge, they have 14 documents. And they said, well, but we selected to merge the documents and not to add the documents. What did we do wrong? And how can we actually rectify the problem? Let me first merge this project to go through the motions um, to see what you actually want to end up with. So we have here some newspaper analysis on some German newspapers coded by a person called Peter. And we have a person called Dirke, so the second coder. She also um, coded the same kind of documents. So what I have open here is the primary document manager. And each person has logged in, so we can later see who did what. The documents are in my library. Back to Peter's project. Also in Peter's project, the documents are in my library. We'll later see it doesn't, that is not necessary, so this is not really a, an issue if documents are in different um, libraries. So let me close Circus project. So every time I do a merge, I do save as. And let me call this just Peter and because if I do something wrong when I merge project merge with HU then I haven't done I haven't destroyed any, any of my existing um, projects and I can start all over again yeah because now we have to select a merge strategy Basically, what you can always use the same PDs, same codes. All objects that are different will be added if you use that option. Of course, if you know we have different documents, same codes, you can choose that option. Just to point out, if most of your codes or you have a common set of codes, even if it's only 30 and everybody has added codes, please choose same codes. Because if you don't choose same codes, if you choose different codes, then all codes are assumed to be different and even the same codes will be added instead of merged. So it's always safe to just select the same, the first option, same PDs, same codes. And if all PDs are different, well, all those different ones will be added. So you do finish and Atlas does the work for you. Or there's something here with the super code. You can just ignore. So then you get a merge report. So what I'm actually checking in the merge report is that first table here. I have seven documents in the source HU and seven in the target. You can kind of look at your coding and whether it makes sense in the end. So Atlas gives you all the detail. Um, what's important here is in the end, I wanted to have, yeah, we have seven documents in each project, but they're the same documents. So we want to end up with a project that has seven documents and the number of quotation codes and so on, they seem to make sense. So just to do a quick plausibility check and I open the managers and, and check whether it all makes sense and then I can click on save and save the merged project. If something, something would have been wrong and checking it, I could just close it and start again. So now let's take a, a look at a different project. But it took me a while now to f find some data where I could replicate this because it's quite difficult actually to do it on one computer and even I tried it on two computers. Um, Atlas is actually quite smart enough even if you set up a project on two different computers 
um, to match the document in the end if they actually have been um, the same documents. But it might be that people um, work on different computers, um, uh, work with older versions they haven't updated, that um, there might still be problems with that. So what happens if we add a document to a project? Atlas provides a unique ID for that particular document. And let me just go to the library manager to quickly show you um, what happens if you add a project uh, document to a project. Atlas gives it a unique ID. And this is why it can cause issues when you merge projects. If that is interview one, presumably we can't uh, see it by this ID, then, um, and I have that particular ID, and I've added the document, maybe with a slight different version, or what also happens, um, one person adds the RTF version, another person adds the doc version, well then we have a document with the same content with two different IDs. And this is what's creating problems when you merge um, documents. So even from your side, they seem to um, look okay, um, seem to have the same content, the same name and so on. But if the ID is not the same, you are going to have issues when you merge um, the project. So we have the project of Coda 1. Let's um, look at the project of Coda 2. So that has been Tom. We have the same interviews here um, and presumably the same content. That's what we saw before we merged. And then you merge the project. I've done this already. And then what happens instead of having five documents, as you would expect, you suddenly have 10. Yeah, so your merge report actually started out with five documents in the source and the target HU. You selected Unify and then you check at the end and you get 10. What has been going wrong? Yeah, so that interview one and that interview one does not have the same ID. And that's why it cannot be merged. Atlas does not recognize the documents to be the same. So really what the quick fix is, and you can try this, whether it works for your project. In this case, it doesn't work because interview one and one in Tom's project is an RTF version and in Susanna's project is a docx file. So that you cannot merge. If the documents are indeed identical in terms of content and also the same files, then you can select these two documents, click on miscellaneous. I have to move up, this is off my screen now, or off your screen. Um, and you have an option here, merge selected PDs. It's grayed out now. So this actually means Atlas is not recognizes these documents to be the same. If it does, you can now go to merge select PDs, select unify again, and then the documents are unified. You do this then for each pair. Yeah, in this project, it didn't work. I had a hard time to even <laughs> Uh, recreate something like that. Um, so it might be because um, products have been set up at um, you know slightly older version, not updated version, and because Atlas uh, or the developers have actually done something to to minimize um, this issue that Atlas can recognize documents if they have really the you know the same uh, content saving date of saving and so on, even if they have been. Um, set up on different computers. So try this in your case. If you get what we have seen here, um, that it's grayed out, 
well, please send the project in copy as copy bundle to the help desk and the developer can sort this out um, for you. You cannot then fix it yourself. One other um, little issues, and um, um, again, over 10 minutes here already. Um, project, um, the Coda 1 project was used the project library and the Coda 2 project used my library. If you have such a setup, um, merge into the project with a project library. Merging the other way around from a project library to my library doesn't work. So if you use something like a project library, start with, start with that as source, uh, as target, and then add um, the second HU to it, your second project that has my library. And by the way, merging and teamwork is currently only supported by the um, Windows version, not by the Mac version yet. So just keep that in mind. You will be able to merge project in the Mac version in the upcoming months and then uh, across versions Win and Mac once version 8 is coming out.